Welcome back friends. Today's progress is another interesting grind because we're going for a fairly popular upgrade. The upgrade is the Dragon Pickaxe in a way that very few have ever done it. I recently unlocked TOA meaning the pickaxe storage is unlocked. I can use the Dragon Pickaxe for more than just mining such as the Aqua Puzzle Room in TOA and the Garden Room in Chambers. Typically though you grind Dragon Pick through Wilderness like Calvarion or the Calvary Queen outside of it. But both options are horrible on the Ultimate Iron Man. However, there is a hidden option to grind the Dragon Pig via the Volcanic Mine minigame. Alright guys, we're going to start now. I've already uh, paid for the permanent access. Thanks to all the Loom Lights I got from AFK and the Ammonites. Alright, hopefully this works out, boys. This minigame came out with the Fossil Island expansion, but very few people actually did this content. Jagex over time added extra rewards to the minigame like Prospector and the Broken Dragon Pickaxe through the ore packs that you can get from the minigame shop. This is by far the most appealing way on the UIM. The minigame I do find enjoyable and you get really good mining XP along the way. Many of you guys probably have no idea how this minigame works so I will briefly talk about that throughout this video. The main goal of this minigame is to mine the boulder that is filled with ores till it is completely gone and you leave through the proper exit. You have just under 10 minutes to do this before the volcano erupts and kills you. In order to reach the end and finish off the boulder for the best XP and points, you need to maintain stability inside the mine. To maintain stability, you need at least two of the three existing gas chambers to be stable pressure, which means close to 50%. We call these chambers A, B, and C. You can increase the pressure percent by opening or closing the chambers. Opening chambers decreases the pressure and closing chambers increases it. For example, if chamber B is 30% pressure, then you want to close chamber B so that it can go up to 50%. You first need to check the pressure through the designated vents in the mine to know what the current pressure is. So if any of the chambers are not anywhere near 50%, then you must deal with them properly. So TLDR, maintain stability properly and you can finish mine the boulder. Definitely check out a guide or watch carefully to learn more about volcanic mine. Alright, I only have two foods, so hopefully we'll live. First game is looking good. Alright, we couldn't finish the full game, but we were close though. Not bad for, our, for the first time. But yeah, we're definitely gonna put some stuff away. I actually don't even need the full graceful, so that's a more space bag, and then we can grab some more food. But yeah, not bad. 1665 points on our first ever game. Alright, I'm going. In a row. And it was a hard one, too. This one was a tougher one, because the A vent uh, and B vent and C vent were all, like, bad on the second half of the run, and that's, like, the worst setting but we still managed to clear it though this is kind of why you want like at least a trio because it makes every game super consistent you can have one guy constantly mining one guy checking a one guy checking b and c oh 7k xp hell yeah let's go all right i need to check soon here okay nice nice okay this is really good speed that's like ideal if we can push this rock around the time i have to go that's perfect on the uh, midway point of the game around 5 15 is when you want to go here if you are the bc roll oh nice we did it we cleared it on time sweet hell yeah and this is like not even the peak form i, I just need to get those two more mining levels so i can mine the rune knight stuff then we're gonna get some serious points Ooh, 7.5k there we go all right, we're getting a steady 50k an hour right now, so. Nice, that was really good, though. Holy shit, 9,000. Oh, I got it. Holy shit. I did not expect 9,000 XP. We're getting better at this, though. But that's sick. Okay, I'm actually going to try to buy this Dwarven Stout, though. And see uh, if we can make it work. All right, we're going to upgrade to the large water container. Because, yeah, it's kind of a big deal. I sometimes need to throw more water, so that'll give us what we need. Oh, nice. You can just basically flick it as it, like, it's about to touch you. So I don't actually have to one-tick. Nice. It works. Huh. Look at that. 
Fireball hit me? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Just get on the fur. And it's so slow, so you have so much time to just block it. I'm only doing this because, yeah, I just don't want to waste my prayer bots. And take up my limited inventory space. Oh, it actually is draining it. Holy shit. Damn, that's a bit annoying. This place does strain my armor a little bit, unfortunately. But it's not, like, constant. Ooh, nice. More fossils. Yeah, we need more fossils anyways. We can complete the museum for uh, UrbXP. First day done, it was a success. Tomorrow is going to be a lot better because of 85 mining. But yeah, we're going to buy the Prospector Helmet. Thank goodness I can buy from here. And finish the Faldor tasks. Let's go. Ah, there it is. Ah, Faldor task done. It used to be full for Spectre. At least on the UIM, it's just the helmet, so. We got uh, 1,300 Numolites. We're going to send it on these stone chests here. We're just going to use it every, uh, every day. Get some free clogs. Just press it. Just hold on to it. Come on, tell me I can get some pages. Oh, I got one. Yay, free clogs. So yeah, you can get like 20 of these or something. Best use of the Noom Lights for me, I guess. Hell yeah. Oh, nice. We got four of them. Hell yeah. Let's go. But it's some lore stuff about, I think, Dragon King. I don't remember. Fossil Island Notes. Okay, never mind. There's 10 of them, but nice. Six more to go. Because why not, right? Get the clogs, baby. 200 plus. What? No! What do you mean? I was editing. There it is. 85 mining. I am so excited for this. Because I can mine some runite in the Volcanic Mine as well. Oh, there it is. Look at that. The runite ore fragment. That's going to be so much points. Especially towards the end. We're going to get a lot of these runite ore fragments. Insane points coming up. Damn, look at that. 2,000 plus points on my first game. Post 85 mining, dude. So freaking good. Damn. Nice. I got 2.4, which is honestly so good for a rune pick. 10 rune ore. Holy. Jeez, I didn't even know I could get like close to 3,000 with just a rune pickaxe. But this is probably one of the luckiest games ever. Look at that. 11 rune. Yeah, okay. That's actually insane, dude. Damn, 3,000 point game with a rune pick. 11,000 mining experience. OMG. The XP per hour in the long run went back to 60k. Basically, 10,000 more XP an hour. So, just jumping one level to rune. We're going to try to repair the Blood Moon a bit right now. Damn, 278k for the helmet. This is pretty expensive to repair all the way down since this thing lasts 50 hours, which is like three times longer than Barrow's. Repairing the broken dragon pickaxe requires 2.5 mil GP, which I currently do not have. So I have to spend my AFK time working towards the repair fund. I did some AFK fletching to start off the repair fund, but I decided I should speed up the AFK money making by doing something called the Valmore Thieving Method. But before I can do that properly, I need to work on the rogue's outfit because that will make that method more efficient. Hey, anyone fletching? Oh, I can make rune darts. Let's go. Hell yeah, 91 woodcutting. We just got AFK for a bit longer, and then uh, hopefully tonight, we got some free time to chain some thieving. All right, we're going to relocate our house very briefly to Tavley because we're going to start going for the rogue's outfit, and I need to be able to store it really quickly because I'm going to be naked die at the Hispori because we absolutely cannot have anything on us all right now time to go to Bertot's games room now that we've died look us all right let's go start some rogues den it is pretty safe as far as i'm aware all right well this plugin's gotten a bit nicer since the last time i, I used it let's see what happens oh i failed it completely and utterly oh that sucks it doesn't even reset your run energy come on four times yes let's freaking go we got it okay piece of rogue equipment yes all right we're just gonna go top to bottom right we're gonna get the mask put this in there and we cannot take it out until we get the next four pieces 
Oh my god, you mother tr What is this? Oh, yes, we got another one. Let's go. Yes. Nice, the third piece. Oh, I got it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're almost done. Oh, wait, what? I got 71 agility. This is nice, though. Slayer Tower. Uh, we got some Stepping Stones and Polyph Niche. Ooh, this one's cool for Harkloos, the uh, Goo Tunnel Wall Climb, too. Oh, yes. Okay, basically like four tries for uh, every single piece. We're done. Doesn't take too long. So, here it is, the last piece. All right, let's go check out some Volmore Thieving with the Rogue's Outfit. We got to clean up the looming bag a little bit. I managed to already put the blood runes all into the divine rune pouch. Uh, we're also going to clean the dry stones and also the D med because we're going to make a stash unit with the glory barrels gloves D med. And that's really nice because I can uh, put on like graceful gloves instead. No way. Is it going to be perfect? Holy shit. Wally cat is just that good. You saw that? Oh, HP didn't feed it once. Yes, we freaking... Oh, no, we did... Oh, no, 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 no. I don't have my mold. I don't have my mold. Uh, We have a problem. Oh, man, thank goodness. I've messed this up so many times that I know how to juggle this. There we go. Yes, elite task done. I had to go here to do this. And there we go. All three glories quickly. String it. Also got to string it as well. Yes! Ah, oh, we did it, man. Oh my god, look at that. I one take that shit, basically. Oh my god, dude. Holy, that was actually way closer than I thought. Jesus Christ, like, literally went down on the take that I made this one, I believe. Alright, so we're gonna put this one in here. There we go. The D med from TOA is stored. And finally, I guess we can just wear this one for now. Holy shit, look at that. Oh my god. Yo, the rogue's outfit. That's why I didn't really want to go hard on thieving unless I had the rogue's outfit. And now we do. Holy shit, look at that. We got six house keys already. So we're going to stack up a bunch of house keys first. Uh, basically, depending on how long I'm going to be AFKing uh, at a time. But yeah. So the first part of the Volmer thieving method, unfortunately, it's not as AFK as I would like. But you do get the keys really fast, so that's not too big a deal. But yeah, for this part, you kind of just have to pay attention. But luckily, you don't have to be here for too long, especially with the Rogue's outfit. Like 28 keys, for example, that's over an hour of the house part of the evening. So I should probably just go and start doing that now, honestly. Alright, so we just did our first key. And if you didn't know, guys, it's around 3 minutes per house. But basically three minute afk session so the only thing that sucks is like you have to go to a different house yeah interrupts kind of like the afk but honestly for how much money you get and the xp that you get it's pretty worth it oh game sounds super useful here because you get a bonus xp if you can hear that little ding noise and we just got 61 thieving we're halfway in right now and let's see uh, how much we're, we're making GP wise in about half an hour. So we're going to turn all the loot here. Damn, 46,000. A 62 thieving, man. We're getting some really good rates. We're like 70k an hour. All right, boys, we've done about an hour of a combined going for the keys and also staying from the house. So I effectively used about only 14 keys an hour. Nice. 64 thieving. Anything good? Ooh, chest from Lizardmans. Might want to do that. I'm not sure. Damn, already another level. Ooh, lots of good stuff here. And let's just turn in all this valuables. Like, just doing it every hour. Damn, it is about 100k. Nice part is, um, after training some thieving, I actually made herbal in my lowest skill now. So that's sick. I managed to get an herbal level. It's another thieving level. We are getting so much level so quick. Oh shit, Sunny Thieving. We're gonna trade this in. Basically 6,000. Holy! Okay, so yeah, it's about 50k per 1,000, I guess. That was crazy. We just gained like 300k or so. Nice. 
Alright. 700k out of the 1.5 mil that we want from this. Damn, I clutched that, man. Nice. Another level. Ooh, more uh, Pyramid Plunder unlocks. Alright, another thieving level. Now that I'm in my 70s, I've noticed that my XP per hour has gone up. Now we're almost at 80k an hour. Same exact effort when I was doing this in my 50s and 60s. Oh, right. Oh, that was a pretty great session. I didn't do too much of anything other than thieving. 1.5. So we have... <laughs> nice. We have a uh, 2.6. A bit over enough to repair this strand pickaxe when we get it. All right, boys, we are back on that volcanic mine. I think today is the day that we go and do some gambling. Because we're going to stock up a good amount of points. But by the time A goes red, B and C should be around yellow. And yes, yeah, the, the stability should be able to hold itself. Counterbalance. Three minutes to get here is like super nice. Okay, yeah, this is looking really bad. It is possible we might have to leave. Oh, the save, boys. That was close. Look how crazy that was, man. Everything was red. That's why you kind of have to be quick. 80, 90% stability on the first half, and then it resets, and you're not immediately there to check the vents to fix. In this case, we were fast enough. We did everything we had to do. Come on, give me a new page. No way, bro. There we go. See, so as long as I put them in the notebook, I actually get new unique pages in the right order. Oh, shit. Yo, 73 thieving. Probably just going to wrap up, though, after today's session. Oh, here it is, boys. The arrow that's going to get us another thieving level. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so weird. You saw that? Hell, yeah. 75 thieving. Oh, gem stalls. That's pretty good. Although I am stopping around 75 for a long while, I imagine. I definitely could see myself coming back here if I need to train my thieving to like 80 plus or something for diaries and stuff in the future. All right, let's trade this in, boys. And that is okay. Sweet. Basically, 700k extra GP. I mean, my points are still good, though. Nice. We got our first mining level post rune knight. All right, let's see how many points we have. Let's see if we can gamble today. 85k, yeah, yeah. We, I think we, I think we're gonna gamble today, guys. I should have over a hundred thousand points. Oh wait, what? I thought I was standing on it. Man, that's bullshit. Holy, I'm like in Narnia right now, dude. Oh shit! E e e. I just got like stacked like 60 damage. What the hell? Ooh, that was clean. 50 seconds left. But yeah, even duels are really good now that we've gotten it down. Very similar to trios. 20? Oh, man. It was like 20% even before the default 5% at the end. Holy. That was the closest ever. We've done this enough times, so we know where to draw the line. All right. So we have how many points? 130k. Yeah, that's like 30 or so gambles. All right. So this is the item that we got to buy here. The ore pack. We're going to buy one at a time so that we don't waste our points or prospector if we get leftover points. All right. Let's buy one. Here you go. The first one. Wow. You actually get a lot of ore. As you can see, uh, these ore packs are okay, like what you get normally. Nope. Okay, how many left? Dang, five more to go. Only five left, guys. Uh, nope. And four left. Oh, oh, oh my god! What? No way! No fucking way, dude! I actually got... I guess that makes up for the 100 gambles I did on Iron Bar, and I didn't get it in the attempt for the log. No freaking way, we actually did it. But honestly, I like this content so much, man. I, I probably should just at least have some fun with it and go for a full perspective before I leave. Oh, please don't kill me. Oh, another one. Nice. We are 8 out of 10 now. 
I did indeed fix in in my past many years ago. They were a lot more common back then. In fact, this is the first broken pickaxe I've seen in a very long time. I already know the spoiler. 2.5 mil, yeah. It is rather expensive. But on the elsewhere, I mean, I think this is still a very uh, worthwhile option. So let's freaking do it, boys. Normal goes into a nearby hidden room from within. You hear the sound. Uh, he did say it would take a little while. Oh, okay. Huh. There it is. Dragon pickaxe. Holy shit. Hell yeah, dude. We can do some mining with it. I can't wait. Faster calcify rock mining for prayer AFK. Um... Uh, for TOA, of course, for Akka Puzzle, and of course, Guardians in Chambers in the future. Oh, baby. Yeah, this, this is going to be plenty useful. Holy shit, look at that, boys. Stored the D-Pick. Oh, so beautiful. Look at that. Grab that shit whenever you want. Amazing. The Adamant Ore is a struggle. I can't actually make good stuff with it. Because I can do bars, so we're going to use up all these at Giant's Foundry. All right. We're going to turn in our first uh, Mithril Adamant. Oh, 15k. That's actually so good. Holy. Oh, and we got 72 smithing. Hell yeah. This is the old Prospector grind, guys. Except we now have a giant pickaxe. So, very keen to see how much better points-wise and uh, XP per hour it is over the rune. Oh, and I can use the D-Pick spec too. That's so nice. Yeah, we're going to use the D-Pick spec at the end i guess one at the beginning one at the end we are over three minutes and we've already made it to the end massive difference god damn we usually get here around like 2 30 2 to 2 30 with the room pick on a duo but yeah we cleared over three minutes there we go use the dragon pick x spec oh 87 mining let's get it a few more hours to full prospector maybe i'll get another level all right, it's been about an hour of tracking the volcanic mine with the giant pickaxe, and we're comfortably sitting around 70k. So yeah, we're getting about 10,000 more XP an hour over rune. So massive, over 10%. Yo, you fell again? Well, I mean, tactical or what? I don't know. <laughs> All right, that's enough for today. Look at that. We have 43k, so now we can buy ourselves the Prospector Jacket. I guess 50k more points, and we'll finish up the rest of the Prospector. Oh, nice. Come on, let me finish this. Dang, I think I finished. Oh, there we go. Fossil Island Notes. Nice. We finished all of that now, so. Well, not much else we can do with the Doom Lights going forward but we're almost done with the volcanic mine anyway so we just have to leave unfortunately that's pretty unlucky i ain't gonna lie look at that stability 16 drop yep it's definitely jover but good to leave early at least you get xp all right i think we might have enough points guys to finish up perspector fifty six thousand points all right shout out to hot cat um or right lele doing these games he was just trying to get freaking volcanic teleports. Now he has a thousand of them because of our grind. But yeah, let's get the rest. Legs, we buy it. And boots, we buy it. And we have a thousand points left. That's cool. Heck yeah. Look at this, boys. What a sick time at volcanic mine, man. We got the D-Pig and our mining outfit as well. All storable, of course. I am going to be going to doing some calcified mining probably i want to see how good it is how much better all right I've, I've been at calcites for quite a bit now and we're getting almost i want to say 35 to 40k an hour depending on my effort but yeah that's definitely a few k xp easily like probably 5k better uh than rune here uh not to mention i do have prospector now so that definitely helps but yeah we're gonna be getting more bone shards per hour so that's Awesome. And the best part is the AFK is still the same because these run on a timer now, right? So, yeah. Now that I have the Dragon Pickaxe, it is time to use it for fun. And the most fun way I can think of right now is to use it at TOA. So, let's go ahead and send some. But yeah, we'll just go with the 185 setup like last time. Oh, there we go, boys. Dragon Pickaxe at Akka Puzzle Room. 
All right, let's see. Is 90 mining with the D pick spec good enough to one down? I have no idea. If not, I mean, we must be close. Oh, yo, that's sick. We actually one downed it. That's awesome. Ooh, perfect hit as well. Common achievement. Yeah, baby. That's that's going to be nice to look forward to. Consistent one downs with the D pick. Oh, yeah. I definitely got to use the Sonic Crossbow from now on for this. Holy, so much better than the Macarena's. First Meteorite, and it's already halfway done. Now, as you can see, yeah, honestly, I think the Sunlight Crossbow is just straight up better than meleeing this phase. Just hit a 20. All right, there we go. So slow, but we did it. Oh, nice. This is our ninth KZ. Whoa. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, yes. We don't even need the purples for it to be nice. Look at that. Oof. Those rannies. Mm-mm. 16 of them. Huh. Push it a bit higher. 195. This one's kind of free because Warden is still pretty uh, slow. And I'm ranging anyway, so I don't even have to uh, melee anymore. Which will make it super easy to deal with that faster speed. Ooh, one boulder. Let's go. Nice. Okay. Well, at least I confirm I can do that now. So that's really good. Oh, 27. Oh my goodness. Jesus. Bone dagger. Hello. Oh my God. I just hit 105. There we go. I think we got it. Yes. Dang, that was pretty good. For uh, 195, I guess. Let's see what we get, boys. Oh, oh, oh my God. Yes. Three raids. Smorgasbord, dude. 14 snaps, 16 Renars. Mmm. Hell yeah. We got to do this from time to time. At least for the seeds, man. <laughs> the juice. Oh, so good. And of course, I did the general account progression stuff, including some diary steps, clues, and some miscellaneous level ups. All very important things. Enjoy. There you go. Another diary done. I'm just getting these uh, coconuts anyways. Because I need to pay... To protect this magic tree and that's another task too for the diary so jesus man but we finally have the magic tree and the coconuts at the same time which is been a struggle man it's been a struggle but luckily we're doing this way in advance it's not like we can actually complete this diary anyways the only one but hey it's good to get that one out of the way just cross this thing and that is the easy diary done so yeah, this counts as a light sword, so we can just buy it whenever we need to go to the caves and whatnot. Nice, first range level, just training in a long time. There we go, boys. 66 there. Fossil Island Wyvern is not the best task. <laughs> Holy shit, I did not know it was 78 farming. Oh shit, okay, 78 farming is actually pretty big, because I can now easily just... Use Garden Pie Boost to plant these, and apparently they're not for Diary, so I can just plant it for XP. Dang, that's crazy. This thing is 17,000 farm experience. Alright, boys, we got three hard clues from some random Slayer and Woodcutting. Two Wilderness clues in a row. Anyways, let's open this one. Ooh, oh, Ancient Coif. That's really cool. And a Master Clue. Alright, making history done. Random as heck, but yeah, we got a mask through all of a sudden from the easy, so. Alright, damn. Brassican Mage? No joke, guys. So, the only tricky one in this set of master steps is just the Guthix one, but we do have three Guthix items. So, Mage Arena Cape, I can buy myself a Guthix one for 23k, and I can also put it in my house, so it's free going forward that's one of them all right second item is the guthix book we're gonna go and look for this Maljaneer. there's a guthix one that i can get from this ancient key which works out because we literally just did this quest is this it yes i got it you can't store it so we're only using this one time this is fucked, guys this is a two-handed item this whole time Bruh. what is this <laughs> We've never tried using these items before in our lives, so 
I will just grab my third piece by doing some pest control. Because those items are Guthix items. But before I go, I'm actually like stupidly close to the medium combat achievements. Two points away, so just any random task will do it. Because I believe the medium should give us more. Ah, oh, there we go. Two extra points per game. Dancing with the statues, yeah. So we're just going to do this task. Super easy. Technically, this will be our first time exploring chambers on this account. All you do is this for this combat achievement until one of them is dead. Oh, I can hit a 28. Okay, we're about to be done. There we go. Hell yeah, look at that. Four points. Congratulations. Medium tier is done. So yeah, let's go and get the lamp and start doing some pest control. Yes, there we go. XP lamp, of course, goes into... Herbal or 10,000 though, that's really nice. I don't think I need this for the passive effect for pest control points, so. Okay, damn, yeah, these games are booming, dude. Yo, give me that XP. Dude, I didn't even get to hit the portal, man. Holy. Oh my god, seven points? Nice. 50 points. Oh, damn, that was so fast. Only seven games. That means I only have to do. A little bit like 30 games or something and I and I get uh 200 points wow oh wait we're done we're done we're done yes <laughs> let's uh get ourselves a void helmet now just making sure yeah the helmet should be self storable if I recall all right we're just gonna get the void range helm I guess go with that sweet okay let's try out this clue scroll Boy Range Helm, Damage Book, Gut Thicks, and Gut Escape. So let's do this. Yes, it freaking works. There we go. Just like that. Easy peasy. Oh, okay. Okay. Very possibly doable. Oh, we did it. Let's get it. Another step done. This could be the last step, so. Oh, follow. Uh-oh. Mm, this is, yeah, it's probably not, a, not good. Follow is probably going to end it for us, boys. To slay a dragon, you must first do before this chest piece can put on you. Ah, oh, it's a rune play body. What are we going to get from this? No, another step. Dang it, boys. Please. Oh my god, I can do this too. I can actually do this. <laughs> I actually already made the stash. I put the crystal ball in there and everything. Oh my goodness. It's 50-50 now, whether or not we can do this clue. 50-50. Oh! No way! We actually did it, dude. Oh my god. Let's go. Uh, do a spin and the badoodle and click and we go. What? Oh, okay. I mean, hey, we got some unique items. Cool. We got this. Let's go, bro. I'm a demon. What are we getting from this? Oh, Adicetes and more Mahoganies. Okay, this is really good. Uh, the reason why is because, you see this? I took out the Ranars and I didn't put it back in the looting bag just yet. Because I still have a bunch of these uh, Snape Grass. And the Adicetes should help with the yield for this. I got 143. Uh, and I still have a few patches left of Snape Grass. So the Adicetes definitely worked. Alright boys, we are done with all the Raynars we got, and it's looking good. Look at this, 788 doses, which equates to almost 200 per potion full. So that's awesome, man. We can do a lot of high-level p man with that. Alright, let's open this up. Look us. Ooh, elegant legs. Let's go. What are those god pages, boys? Oh, ham joint. That's actually really good. Hell yeah, that's why you do your clues, boys. Amtroid is pretty sick. I could use it for like some PVM. And finale. Wow, I didn't get a single god page. Dude, all these mahogany's from top, man. It's crazy. I still have eight more to plant. Look at that. 79 farming. Ooh, I can grow some super dank stuff. Woodcutting Gill is like the place to go, I guess, for getting some planks. Because it's got the axe here, it's got all the trees, and the sawmill right there. And of course, you can buy the nails. So, whenever I need to make stash units. Oh, pantalones, though. Okay, I've only got one. Oh, two items from this. Studded chaps tea as well. 